give a good brute force algorithm to determine k, and k is the, the number of elements being rolled, given the array a and its length n, and a good asymptotic bound on the runtime of our brute force algorithm. Okay, so we want to figure out how many elements have been rolled. I mean, if we were scanning through this array, for example, 8, 9, 2, as soon as we drop from 9 to 2, we know that we've found our roll point. So if we use one based indexing, obviously you could do this with zero based indexing as well. Then we're looking at these indexes. And so as soon as we find the point where things drop, it's the previous index that tells us what k is. And we know we will have a drop because k is at least one and k is at most n minus one. So at least one element has been rolled and at least one element hasn't. So there will be a pair of elements that are out of order. And that seems pretty good for brute force. We're basically exploring every possibility for k. So we can say something like uh, for k equals one to n if a bracket k is greater than a bracket k plus one. I guess we can say n to n minus one just to make clear that this is going to finish before running off the end of the ray and accessing a sub n minus one, a sub n plus one. Uh, then break and return k. And this isn't a recursive algorithm, so given that it says right up here I'm given a and n, I don't think I'm going to name it, uh, but that would be totally fine and maybe even a little bit better. Uh, but here's my algorithm, and how long does this run for? Well, we've got this loop here that runs n minus 1 times. This takes constant time. This takes constant time, and if it happens, breaks off my loop. This takes constant time. And so we're looking overall at O of n time. So that's a good asymptotic upper bound. It's a worst case uh, big O bound. It's also a worst case big theta bound. So it's clearly a good bound.